Today I'm going to test out the USMC Combat Knife by Topps Knives. Uh, about a week ago I did a tabletop overview about the design after talking with Lassie Zabo, who is the designer of the knife, and I'll post that link somewhere right here. Quick summary of the specs. It's 13 and 3 quarter inches long overall. The blade length is 7 and a half inches, 4 inch thick. It is 1095 high carbon alloy steel. It has black traction coating on the blade to prevent rust and also to reduce glare. It's 17 and a half ounces, just over a pound, and a little under 500 grams. So it's pretty hefty. So we're just gonna test out a few tasks, uh, splitting, cutting, and batoning, that sort of thing. And the uh, Northwest snowed quite a bit this weekend, and so we'll see if we can find something that ain't too frozen solid. So we have a piece of cedar right here, and it's about four inches thick, and we have the combat knife. So we're gonna see how well this chops through. Um, I'm gonna rotate it as I chop so that I'm always cutting on a corner as well. Um, just so it does a good job. So here we go. So, as you can see, the combat knife did pretty good at chopping through this four inch cedar. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the length of it, at just seven and a half inches. It's uh, pretty much a sweet spot for a knife if you're gonna be doing this sort of thing, uh, in my opinion. And also, uh, it's pretty darn heavy, 17 and a half ounces is uh, quite a lot of weight to put a lot of energy behind. So, um, yeah, it did pretty good. And let's try out batoning. So right now we're gonna do some batoning. We have the same four inch piece of cedar that we were uh, chopping up before. And as you guys might've seen in my other videos, um, when I baton in test videos, I don't actually use a baton. I use a rubber mallet. So we're gonna continue that tradition today and uh, see how well this thing splits logs. So get it in. USMC Combat Knife did a pretty good job of batoning. A lot of it has to do with the fact that it has a seven and a half inch blade, so you have a lot of real estate to actually pound with. Another good thing is that it's a quarter inch thick, so it actually has a lot of splitting force to get in between the wood. Uh, unfortunately, this knife only comes with serrations, but the way Topps Knives does their serrations, they're pretty darn durable. So if you're gonna be choking up uh, near the handle with the wood, you're not gonna be chipping any teeth. We're gonna go ahead and try and make a fuzz stick. It's a quarter inch thick, so I don't imagine it being too good at it just because it's such a steep angle for uh, shaving. But, um, and also it has serrations, so we'll see how it goes. So it did pretty good. Um, I've seen better obviously, but those are also a lot different knives geared towards outdoor and this sort of thing. But um, as far as that goes, it did decently well. I went ahead and built a fire. Um, there's a blizzard blowing in, so I didn't feel like filming, building a fire and fighting the snow at the same time. But uh, the knife did great overall as an outdoor tool. Uh, chopping, it did excellent. Splitting, it did pretty good as well. And uh, the only thing I wish that it had was an option without serrations because it made it really hard to make a fuzz stick. But this knife is more designed to get you through the fight, not so much get you through the night. But uh, overall, I think it did pretty well. Um, another little thing I would change is probably uh, shave down the handle just a smidge because uh, after a lot of chopping, a lot of use, um, I got a little bit of a blood blister, but that could just be me. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the review and uh, I'll see you next time.